Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you all so much for joining us on this beautiful, warm day in McAllen. We have another wonderful project to celebrate today with this wonderful ribbon cutting. And we've got our kids uh, here from our summer program or some of our youth program to help us with that celebration. My name is Sochi Mora. I'm the Director of Communications for the City of McAllen. I'll be your MC for today. Before we get started, let me recognize our special guest here with us today, starting with the Honorable Omar Quintanilla, Commissioner District 3, representing this district where Las Palmas Community Center is. Also, the Honorable Rudy Castillo, Commissioner District 4. From the City of McAllen, we have our City Manager, Mr. Roy Rodriguez. And our Assistant City Manager, Mr. Joe Vera. Representing the McAllen Fire Department, we have Assistant Fire Chief, Juan Gloria. And Karina Jimenez, Deputy Director for the McAllen Parks and Recreation Department, and all the great staff here with the Parks and Recreation Department for organizing this event, the programs for the kids, and of course this beautiful field that we're here in this morning. Everybody from the Office of Communications for keeping our City of McAllen and all of our media informed. Thank you so much for being here. And our McAllen ISD School Board President and also representing Hidalgo County Commissioner Precinct 4, Eli Torres, uh, Tony Farina and his Thank you so much. This project has been a long time coming, right, Commissioner? And I know that the residents and everybody who uses this community center are very excited about that. So to tell us a little bit more about why this project was so important, the Honorable Omar Quintanilla. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. And welcome to Las Palmas Community Center and Las Palmas Park. This uh, project, as was mentioned, uh, has been something that we've been thinking about for the last uh, couple years now, and we were able to make it a reality. And uh, I'd like to thank uh, the mayor and the city commission for their support on this project. Uh, in particular, Commissioner Haddad, who was an early supporter uh, of this uh, turf field. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Commissioner Castillo for being here with us today. I know uh, other commissioners are out of town, and. Uh, busy today, but it's, it's really a momentous occasion for us in District 3. Um, the community center is the center of, of really of activity here for us in West Central McAllen. And to be able to make improvements to this park and to this com community center uh, was a, a top priority of us in the commission. And so uh, I'm, I'm ecstatic that we were able to make this a reality. It's, it's uh, one of other uh, steps that we're going to be taking here at this park and this community center uh, to make improvements, right? We've already uh, painted some of the buildings, so improve the aesthetics of the, of the exterior and the interior of the community center. And, and now we get to celebrate this uh, well, ribbon cutting for this wonderful turf field, uh, which is going to be a great addition. Uh, if, you've, if you've been to this park before, you've seen uh, soccer being practiced here. Uh, pretty much every day of the week and and now uh, they'll they'll be able to practice on this wonderful turf field and it's it's like no other uh, as far as parks uh, here in, in McAllen and what we try to do is is we, we try to do different amenities at different parks so that when you go to a park you have a different experience and so uh, here at this park uh, now, uh, we're, we have this unique experience here of having an artificial turf, and so it's wonderful. Uh, here in the city of McAllen, we, we value and we emphasize uh, health and wellness, and, and you can tell that. Last week, we were at the uh, Fireman's Park celebrating the H2O uh, Center, and uh, this week, uh, we're here at Las Palmas Park celebrating this wonderful uh, turf field. And so, uh, again, I'd like to thank uh, city staff, uh, especially uh, city manager, assistant city manager, Mr. Joy Veda, and our parks department for putting this project together uh, because uh, we know that here in the city of McCown, we value uh, health and wellness, we value parks, and, um, and you can tell by this uh, wonderful addition to this park. 
uh, thank you for coming and for uh, experiencing uh, this uh, grand opening and ribbon cutting with us today. Thank you, Commissioner. And yes, this is a beautiful turf field. It feels really springy. I feel like I could probably kick a goal or two. To tell us again about why the quality of life for the city of McAllen is so important, our city manager, Mr. Roy Rodriguez. Good morning. Another beautiful day in McAllen, right? Uh, I too want to recognize, uh, you know, a lot of folks that make these things happen. Sochi uh, indicated that it's been a long time coming. We actually thought about it a while, but I must say this this happened rather quickly. Um, I guess that's that's what happens when you get artificial turf. Uh, but uh, I'm real proud of Commissioner Quintanilla for you know, having the courage to go to the city commission and say, you know, this is something that we need in our community. Uh, I also want to thank, obviously, the staff that make all of these things happen. Um, the Parks Department is so involved in so many projects. Uh, as Commissioner Omar just said, we were in another one last week. And so Denny uh, and Karina and Sarai, who is here, um, and, and all of the staff, I mean, you know, it's so hard to really understand the depth of what we do. We've got 2,500 employees, and that's what makes McAllen so special and so great, that these 2,500 employees work like this awesome machine. I've always used that word when it comes to the staff. It's like this machine that just make things happen. And we're very proud also of the fact that we, we're first in a lot of things, whether it's how we build international bridges, or parks, or in this case, our first turf field. And I, believe me, I'm, I'm sure that other commissioners, as soon as they see it, they're gonna want, they're gonna want more of these. And so I've got uh, Commissioner Rudy, you know, I'm telling you, you're up next because you're here. Everybody that's not here is gonna go after you. But but really, I mean, it's, it's a really special day. I mean, even though this project seems to be a small project, this is a huge endeavor. This is the next step of us indicating and showing our community and the Rio Grande Valley that we wait for no one. Uh, we're first at everything that we do and it's because of all of the amazing folks and the great city commission and leadership that we have. So thank you so much for being here. This is a great day, really, really a great day for the center of McAllen. Uh, you know, I actually grew up in this area, believe it or not. I've walked this park a long, long time ago, my in-laws, my, my wife grew up just three blocks from here. Uh, they're building a plaza right now, but there used to be a home there where she lived. And so uh, as a teenager, uh, I actually took walks here uh, with her and told her how great I was and tried to convince her to marry me and all that stuff. So anyway, it worked out. So obviously this is a great park. Thank you so much for being here and congratulations to all of you and to you, Commissioner. Thank you, Mr. Rodriguez. Commissioner Castillo, it's on video, so that way you can hold it to him. <laughs> Starting tomorrow. Starting tomorrow. <laughs> As was mentioned, our Parks Department is uh, unlike any other, unparalleled, and to tell us all about the wonderful things from the McAllen Parks and Recreation Department, Karina Jimenez, Deputy Director. Thank you, Sochi. Good morning, everybody. So I think that um, the Parks and Recreation team that's here and is not here definitely represents um, our goals in terms of our approach every day when we come to work as the city's, our top goal is to always offer top quality of life programming. I believe that Las Palmas Complex, which we're going to officially call it from now on, is um, definitely representative of the many facets that we utilize to provide that quality of life, top quality of life to not only McAllen residents, but also those that visit us each day from uh, different cities in our region. In addition to the great youth, adult, and senior programming offered by our talented Las Palmas Community Center management team and their staff, this whole complex features a wide range of amenities that represent our entire department. A basketball court behind me, sand volleyball, tennis courts, 
a running trail that um, our team is still working on in terms of improvements, but it is available and we see walkers and runners here each day um, taking advantage of this beautiful space. And of course, this beautiful turf that we're so, so excited about. And you're right, um, Mr. Rodriguez, this project from start to finish in terms of the build took our team four months. Um, so I think that, you know, it was really amazing to see it just kind of come to life um, overnight, it seemed. And uh, it's definitely representative of our team's definite skill and talent. The field is 24,000 square feet with a uh, new perimeter fencing uh, that really adds to the aesthetic we believe and of course uh, must go lighting for the field which is a great feature that allows us to provide that top quality service for those who are going to be utilizing it as a public space on the weekends and renters who are going to be using it as a practice field <clears throat> the field will be available for practice rentals mondays and wednesdays from 4 p.m to 10 p.m and open for public usage Saturday and Sunday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Again, our parks team, um, led by my fellow deputy director, Sarai Garcia, uh, definitely takes um, pride and has worked so hard to get to today from our um, electricians, our maintenance, our athletics divisions, and it couldn't be possible without the support, again, of our mayor, our city commission, our city management team. You know, we're blessed, we always say, in our Parks and Recreation Department because we have such a supportive city management team. Our assistant city manager, Joe Vetta, express, ex just definitely um, shows us each day the support that we get from him for all of our projects and all of our creative ideas and endeavors that we take on. And we couldn't do what we do without them. So thank you. And we hope that this new amenity and facility are something that, again, both residents and visitors to the city of McAllen continue to enjoy for many, many years. Um, rentals for the facility will be available starting next week. And we hope to see everyone out here. Thanks. Thank you, Karina. And so if you will turn to the back, we will have the official ribbon cutting. And then immediately after, we'll have a drills presentation by the uh, kids who are in the youth soccer program here at Las Palmas Community Center. Thank you all so much for joining us today. And uh, come on out and enjoy this field. Thank you so much. Three, two, one. Nah. Yay! Yay.